somewhere in the heart of the munafiq, they know they're not ready to face Allah. And they know that death means there's no choice but to face Allah. So avoid it as long as possible. Hadar al-Mawt. Wallahu muhitum bil kafirin. While Allah has kafirin completely surrounded. What Allah could have said, Wallahu muhitum bil munafiqeen. Right? Allah has the munafiqeen surrounded. But what did Allah say? Wallahu muhitum bil kafirin. This is an important concept for us to understand. In this world, Allah separated the believer and the disbeliever. But Allah did not make the munafiq a known category. Even until the end of the Quran, Allah was told, Allah told the Prophet وسلم, there's people maradu ala nifaq la ta'lamuhum, Allahu ya'lamuhum. There are people that are still inclined towards nifaq. You don't know them, only Allah knows them. So you cannot point at someone and say, Munafiq, why not? Because even Allah told His Messenger, you don't know them, only Allah knows them. Even the ones within Medina. Allah told them that towards the final revelations in Surah At-Tawbah. So the idea that we can easily just label a Munafiq is not the case. Is that simply not the case? In fact, the policy in the Quran is even وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ أَلْقَى إِلَيْكُمُ السَّلَامَ لَسْتَ مُؤْمِنًا Don't say about anybody who throws salam in your direction that they're not a believer. Assume that they have iman. Don't assume that they have hypocrisy. So that's, that's our policy. So nifaq is a complicated category. But in, with Allah, with us it's complicated because I can't see inside the heart. But with Allah it's not complicated because alimun bidhati sudur. So Allah comments about the munafiq sometimes the same way He would comment about the kafir. He comments about them the same way. And it's, it's scary that He does that. Because actually he puts them together in the spiritual sense. This is also a kind of kufr. It's just a kufr that the Muslim cannot judge on the outside, because it's happening inside, right? But Allah sees it for what it is. The disturbance with what Allah has revealed, being bothered by what Allah has revealed, the desire to remain rebellious to what Allah has given. That's kufr for Allah enough. Just like Iblis is bothered by the command to do sajda, isn't it? I mean, he believes in Allah, he knows Allah exists, so he's not like Allah doesn't exist, he does. His command exists too, I just don't like it. I know it's from Allah, I just don't like it. That's enough for him to be labeled a kafir, isn't it? So, Allah has the disbelievers entirely surrounded.